Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. Today we're going over the most common, widely used, and underrated rig throughout the history of fishing. We're doing the Carolina rig. Before we get into this video, do us a favor. Hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. All right, folks, it's that time. Let's do this. So, to do a Carolina rig properly, you're gonna need a few items. You're gonna need a sinker. I've got a half ounce sinker here. You're gonna need a swivel. This is a number seven swivel. You're gonna need a hook. I got, uh, this is a 1-0 J hook. And then you're gonna need a little red bead. This is the one piece of this whole uh, shebang that is optional. You do not need this, and I'll get into that. You're gonna need your main line. I'm using a um, 20 pound pink Andy. And then you're gonna need leader, which is, um, for this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna use 30 pound trilene. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is thread your sinker on to your line. You want it to free float, you don't wanna tie a knot, you never wanna tie a knot around your sinker. Uh, if a fish hits, it'll kink it, and then uh, you can end up in trouble that way. Um, so, the next thing you'll wanna do, which is the optional step, is this bead. But for, um, how shall we say, for authenticity, we're gonna place the bead on it. It's more of a freshwater thing, it's not necessarily for salt water, but we will go on ahead and add the bead on for the authentic look of the Carolina rig. So, we have sinker, little red bead. Now you're gonna wanna tie your swivel on. We're gonna tie that on with a clinch knot. Basic fishing knot. We're gonna give it about five or six wraps. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna send it back through. Now, I just wanna say that the Carolina rig is a bottom fishing rig. All right, so we've got our clinch knot tied, nice and tight, nice and squared up. Good to go. Let me locate my pliers and I can trim off my tag end. Got the pliers, so. We're gonna trim off the tag end. So what we've got here, now, this is your main line. This leads back to your reel that way. You've got your sinker, then your bead. So that's what we're looking at right now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie our leader onto the swivel. So I'm gonna take about three feet of leader maybe four depends upon what you want the less hardware your fish see the less spooky they will get and uh, it'll increase your chance of a hookup so we're going to take our leader we're going to tie another clinch knot onto our number seven swivel right here all right tie, again five or six wraps and then send it back through your little hole one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do six. Send it back through. And we're gonna pull it tight. All right, so you've got clinch knot here, clinch knot here. We're gonna trim off our tag end. All right, so, again, main line going back to your fishing pole. Sinker, bead, swivel, leader. Now, we're gonna to come to the end of our leader and we're gonna tie a no slip loop knot. You can reference this video right up here. I'm gonna put a card in. If you don't know how to tie a no-slip loop knot, uh, it's 
not, it's very simple. It's similar to a clinch knot, but it basically makes a loop in your line that won't pull out and it maintains a loop. So to do that, I'll show you. What you're gonna do, the first thing, oh, before you thread it onto your hook, the first thing you do is you wanna tie an overhand knot. Which is essentially the first knot in your shoe. All right. Then we're gonna thread our hook on. So you have this sort of setup. Now, what you want to do is, oops, we're going to send that back through our little rabbit hole. And we're going to wrap this around our main line five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna take the tag end and stick it back through the loop. Once you get it tight enough, you start pulling against the hook you ever need to use your cutting tool to pull against your hook inside of your cutting tool it's got a little hole right here you can actually grab it with that and you're not going to break your hook and then you can pull against it you can set your knot right there so next thing we do we'll trim up our tag so, we've got a no slip loop knot on our hook. And then we've got our bead and our sinker and our hook. Now, I'm gonna show you exactly how this is supposed to work. So what happens when you're using a Carolina rig is you don't want it, you want your sinker free floating so that as it goes down, it sort of beats your bait down to the ocean floor. Your bait will be up here and it will drift down. Then what is going to happen after it hits the floor is it, it's your, your bait will be back here and this is your sinker is going to drag along the ocean bottom and your bait will slowly follow. You want to keep, as in all fishing, you want to keep letting out line. That way you don't drag your bait through the water. It's going to hit and your bait will follow suit and float down gently. And then you should pick up fish. This is a great snapper rig, blue runners, grunts, groupers. Everything eats this. Uh, the longer the leader, the less spooked your fish will get. It's super strong. This is the classic rig, the go-to rig. It's the first rig you usually learn to tie when you start fishing. All right, folks. Again, Carolina rig. This is what it looks like. The classic. The most underrated fishing rig in all of history of fishing. It's the one that is the most widely used by fishermen all over the world. All right. That's it for this episode, South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and I'm done. We'll catch you next Tuesday for our episode. Who knows what we're doing? We're going to be shooting from the hip and uh, hoping great things happen for us. All right, see you later.